In this video, let's discuss on the uncommon truths about creative testing. Let's get it started. It will be quick and very efficient. First, start a video ad with relevancy. Don't start a video ad just because of a transition or some meme kind of content. Start with relevancy for any video ad. What is kind of relevancy you can create for a person is based on pain. You can create a relevance based on pain or you can create a relevance based on the environment. For example, it might be a monsoon environment. So you are selling monsoon clothing. So that is the kind of relevancy. Find relevancy between what your product is and why the customer wants it. That's the kind of relevancy you should be starting your video ad. Then it's not just that you'll have high hook rates, but it also it will have high conversion rates because high hook rate and hold rate are vanity metrics. It always does not translate to high conversion rates. Second, content might be king in creative, but the context of the creative is the kingdom. Let me explain with an example. Say it's a high hot summers right now, scorching heat in the month of April May. And then you start advertising saying that monsoon collection is live. It's a complete disparity between what the product is being advertised and what the environment the customer is in currently. That is the kind of condition you need to avoid. Always have a tailwind. Understand the audience and understand the framing of the audience of where they are seeing the ad. Okay, it's a monsoon, it's a April May, then it's mostly summers. Then try to create creators around summers and what are the uh, objectives and what are the messaging that might work in the summer duration. That way you'll have a tailwind on your creators and it will convert better than normal. Now, apart from this, it need not be always regional based or season based or weather based. It can be based on the use case based or a profession based. For example, you can start, you can understand that okay, most of your audience work in a AC environment in office. In that way also you can create a creative related to that. So the context does not always have to has to be uh, weather based or uh, environment based like that. Number three, the best time to invest in aggressive creative testing is in good times. In bad times, you just rely on your winners. What brands usually do is complete swap. When they are in bad times, they try to test more and more. It's a very, very bad strategy. Intuitively, you should know that if it's a bad time, you are relying best on what is already working. You are not testing more there. Because you know if you test more, you are more likely to fail than to succeed. When is the time to test more? Is it when you have good times, when you are hitting performance, when you are hitting the targets when what you want. Then test more. Next, to target in-market audience, you have to say about what is the unique proposition of your product. But if you want to target out-market audience, you'll have to say what is the emotion associated with your product. Let me explain with an example. Say you are looking for shoes. You are looking for various brands and uh, now, you want to understand, because you are looking for 10 plus, 20 plus brands, you want to understand what is one specific thing in the particular product you are selling, what is the one specific thing in this brand that I want to buy right now. It's not that I want 20 brands, all of them saying the same thing, okay, everyone is saying the comfort, everyone is saying about the same thing. You want to say for the in-market audience, what is the one specific thing about the product that gets the customer to convert. That is should be your focus. Your focus should not be about commoditized quality and comfort thing. It should be about what's the USP of this product. There you are reducing the parallel analysis for people and the customers and they are more likely to convert with your brand because you are standing out. You are the purple cow in the sea of red ocean. Next, to target out market audience, what we need to do is you have to associate an emotion. When you associate an emotion, they they try to indulge in the category and buy the product on an impulse buy. This is more for a product which is impulse buy. There you have to associate an emotion. For example, if you are selling shoes, again, it will be emotion that you are, uh, it's, suppose it's an out market audience. So there the emotion can be, you can have a better life or a healthy life because of it. That's a far-fetched uh, messaging. But, but that, that can work because it's out market. They are not looking for shoes. They don't want unique feature about the shoes. They want how it will improve their life. So there you are saying about healthy walking and your ankles will not hurt. So that is the kind of messaging for out market audience. Next, for a lifestyle brand, apparel, shoes, fashion accessory, showing variety image in the creative itself always helps. Because people want to explore what are the designs available. You are not looking for one t-shirt. You don't go for shops which has one t-shirt color only or one t-shirt design in the whole shop. You look for shops which has 100 plus designs, 100 plus options. Because variety sells. 
and variety gets customer to buy and check out your product so try to show that variety both in image video and carousel creators don't start your creative research this is the last and the most important among all don't start your creative research from ads library that's the worst way to start a research if you are looking at competitors of what they are doing and trying to copy them or even get inspiration from them you are already behind also you are blindsided by what the performance is okay i might be running the ad might be running for 40 45 days but is it running because it is performing well or is it running because somebody is managing really poorly the ads in that competitor brand it might be that case also no everyone says uh, if the duration is longer it's more likely to convert succeed yes taken but it might be because of poor management of ads from your competitors that can also be the situation always start from the customer always start from the customer point of view it should be 70% of your time should be dedicated to understand the customer and the rest 30% can be about understanding your competitors this as a sum up is find an untapped market don't try to fix your world view think from customer's point of view of how they are viewing the product what is their situation what is their environment hopefully this was helpful and also i got a new mic uh, let me know in the comments if the quality has improved please let me know thank you